never subscribes to friends. No, well. it's mine. It's my turn. You say you always <coughs> ask me to do. Go ahead. Hi, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is I Seek Out the Truth. I got that ready all the morning. And you just have to do it. <laughs> You've been practicing it all? Yeah. Uh, all right, whatever. Anyways. Um, Did I sound like it? No. Didn't sound like me at all. We're going to make uh, biscuits and gravy. Uh, but she's already made the gravy. And then she's like, you want to make a video? And I'm like, well, you got to show how to make the gravy too. And she's like, ah, just show the gravy. So, right? That's what you said, right? What? Just show the gravy because you already made it. Right. I didn't have a now, chance to film it. So, now we just make the biscuit. I'm going to show you what you need to make the gravy though. You're going to need sausage, right? right. This sausage only has uh, one gram of carbs and zero sugars. So use whatever sausage you want. You're going to need some arrowroot. How much arrowroot did you use? I just use like a, a tablespoon. It depends how much, you know, you're making. Okay, and this but is... But you got to mix it with water. Okay. It's a starch, you know. This is a baking grease. That every time I cook bacon, I save the grease. And how much of this do you use? I use a tablespoon. One tablespoon of baking mm -hmm. grease. And about a tablespoon of that. Of butter. Butter just to, uh, you know, to cook the pork. How things. much did you say you use an arrowroot? One teaspoon. Oh, one teaspoon. You want to save the grease from the from the sausage, too, because you're going to cut these up in little pieces, leave the grease in the pan, and you're going to add, you said water? A little water and water, what else do you use? Water and starch mixed together. Yeah, but you use like the, a half a cup of uh, water. You use heavy cream, right? Yeah, I was gonna say, why did you put the heavy cream? You're the. It's listen. This is your cooking show. No, you get it. Whatever. Tell me to do a video, and you don't even get anything ready. Uh, anyways, here's the heavy cream. How much heavy cream do you use? But I thought we we're gonna be professional. Quarter cup. Quarter. <laughs> This is a the on the just fly. Just eyeing, eyeing. Just it. eyeing it. Okay, this is the ingredients you're gonna use, and now I'm gonna show you the finished product of the gravy, and then we're wait, gonna show wait. you. This is how you do it. You put the, the um, tablespoon of butter in Did the pan. Did you shush me? Did I? No, I didn't. Oh. One tablespoon of that, and then chop up the pork lengths, and then put it with the butter until it's cooked. Oh, oh, put one tablespoon of that to the bacon. Mix this and this together. Yeah, and then okay. put the pork links. And put the pork up. links, chopped up pieces. Right, till it's All cooked. Right. And then you put the starch in the water, about half a cup of water almost. And then you pour that into the, the pork links. Pour that into the pork links. Yeah, you will see. This is. This works like uh, starch, you know, like cornstarch. Yeah. So it's thickening it. Okay. Okay, and then after. When do you put the heavy cream in? After it starts boiling, then you put the whipping cream. All right, let me show you the finished product of the gravy. All right, this is the gravy she already pre-made, and then uh, I think she says she's gonna thicken it up a little bit. So this is the sausage, and uh, that's the heavy cream, and stuff like that. It's gonna yeah. go on the biscuits. On the biscuits. All right. Now, can we film the biscuits now? In the meantime, we warm up the pre, oven. Preheat pre the oven. 325. 325. Yeah. And I just want to show the uh, carbs on this heavy cream. There's no sugar and uh, one gram of carb. Serving size is one tablespoon. And uh, use whatever heavy cream you want. All right. So you're probably asking, well, why is the uh, gravy already pre-made? She made that for breakfast for the kids, and, uh, oh, oven's preheated. <laughs> Hurry up, Doc. So now it's past my lunchtime. I haven't eaten anything, so she's going to make the biscuits and gravy for me so I can have it for lunch. So right. that's why the gravy is pre-made, and I just got back from taking Jerry to the park, and, uh, Return some movies. So when I come back, she's like, "Hey, let's make this video," because uh, I haven't had any lunch yet. So here we go. Here's the ingredients we're going to need for making the biscuits. These are different biscuits than uh, the other biscuits she makes, and these things are delicious. Yeah, this one is uh, cream cheese and 
Okay, we're going to use some cream cheese and uh, Mexican style, what is this, total one gram of carbs, no sugar. So everything has no sugars that we're using and only very little carbs. So it's going to be delicious. I've, I've eaten them already and they are awesome. And are you using this almond flour also? Yep. All right. I have no idea how she makes this stuff. She just feeds it to me. I eat it. So here we go. All right. First off, you mix the dry ingredients. Okay. For the biscuits. For the biscuits, I use uh, one cup of. Uh, uh, this is half a cup thing. So. Is it half one, a cup? One cup of almond, almond flour. 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 I can stand behind you. And it's easier. I used the uh, arrowroot. 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 Where do you, you get this as sprouts, right? No, this one I think I got it at the the regular store. The regular grocery store. Yeah. How many, and how many measurements is this? I put a half a cup of this. this Half a, cup. half a cup of arrowroot. Okay. okay. We'll get it all stick together. Oh, look at that. My hands are white. Let me see. Uh, and then you put one teaspoon of baking powder. Make one teaspoon of baking powder? What kind of yeah. baking powder is that? Just regular baking powder. Let's see. Is there carbs on in the back? No, there's no carbs. I thought Let's we see. showed this all the time. I'm showing it again. There, zero. Let me, listen, you do the mixing, I'll do the filming. Can you see it? Can you see I it? can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Okay. Stop shaking. Why are you shaking so much? I did it on purpose. You did it okay. on purpose? Yeah. Why? Because you didn't need to do that. You see how she messes with me, guys? Okay, this is, you just mix it, okay? While we're doing this, okay, since we don't have microwave, and I do not like... Why do you got to say that in every video? They know we don't have a microwave. Did I say that all the time? It's just like hinting that buy a microwave. We're not going to own a microwave. Uh, anyway. Monday. That's my bucket list. Anyway. Did you just cuss on my <laughs> Didn't I tell you not to be cussing on my I videos? didn't curse. I said my bucket list. Uh. Anyways, um, we since we don't have that, and I don't like to um, um, get my pen all dirty, and, you know, what we need to do is the next, uh, like the liquid, not liquid, the wet ingredients is, uh, how many? Uh, th three, three, <laughs> three tablespoon of butter. Uh, that's about three tablespoon like this. I use two and a half though. Too much. Two and a half spoon of butter. And about three tablespoon of um, cream cheese. Cream cheese. And three quarter um, of cheese. And it has a Monterey Jack, cheddar, case, queso, queso, quesadilla, and yeah. uh, you can Sardera use what uh, cheese they use mozzarella. As long as it has no sugar, you know mozzarella uh, cheese. You see what the what is this on the one sugar and one gram. So we so far we got one gram of sugar, and this is a serving size of yeah, right and there. This one, yeah, one right gram as well. That. All right, so now okay, we're... Okay, this is the method that I use since we don't have... What you want to do is get a pan filled with water, just like if you're going to make... Double boiling. Yeah, double it. boiling, all right. So what you do, you put double the butter... Double boiling. Double boiling. You put the butter first. Let it melt. How long does it take to melt? It's going to be a while because, you know, you're not cooking it directly to the... Uh, what you call it? The fire. So, and then you melt the uh, cream cheese in there also. Use about three tablespoons of it. 
Uh, I've noticed that keto uh, foods require a lot of cream cheese. Yep, it sure does. Bread, everything in keto is always cream cheese. So we're going to get this melted up and then um, we'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, we do this first though. The cream cheese and the butter. And put the cheese last. I just said we're going to be right back and you keep talking. Well, you didn't ask me. What, you know, what, what are you going to do? Right, are you done talking? No, no, oh. no, no. So, because it takes longer for this cream cheese and butter to melt since we're doing double boiling but if you have a you don't use microwave, microwave microwaves it'll be your faster food. microwave okay. kills all nutritional value Shh. in the food just you don't shush me in my video you don't have to repeat that again and again yeah because you keep saying this microwave. is mama lee's cooking channel isn't it you just said at the beginning i see got the truth channel so oh. shush i you didn't all right can we be, can we come right back now all right fine all right, while well, we're waiting for that stuff to melt, man, I got my mouth full of cashew nuts. You're hungry, huh? I'm All right. Starving. So you have that baking soda and almond flour and the arrowroot in here. You just put a little pinch of uh, pinch of sea salt. Sea salt. We use Himalayan crystal, and then you put about a tablespoon. Oh, uh, not full though. I don't like it too sweet. Uh, of swerve. Swerve. Or a wreath of all. Which has a rotor of all in it, right? Yep. And you just mix it up. They're well combined. And what you do, you put one egg. Just one egg. The whole egg? The whole egg. Not, not with the... No, not with the shell. Not with the shell. I didn't. Stop. Everybody it's knows that. Whole you know what I meant. Oh, okay. Being all. I okay. can't think of the word. What? Cocky? Oh, you. Me? Being all. Uh, I can't think of the word anyways. Never mind. All Forget right, it. That means you don't need it. Alright, well, do that. And I also put. Now, why you were telling me this earlier this morning, you just, this is new. You didn't put this last time you made no, this. No, because it makes it taste a little bit like buttermilk. The uh, like apple the cider apple vinegar. apple cider vinegar. And how, how much is that you're putting in? Just one teaspoon. Maybe. One teaspoon. Now, I tried a little bite of it this morning. I couldn't tell any difference of, uh, she apple says it makes cider. it taste like a biscuit more. Because they just taste delicious. Once you got the gravy on them, you can't taste taste anything right and uh, I, you can't taste the cheese either nope. you can see it a little bit I mean if you pay attention when you are hungry you just eat it all not even yeah, think usually I'm like starving now but I, this I, is I fast. good I mean I got this idea from this lady cooking with Christy or something and but she make it different uh, Recipe with the she old uses flour. A microwave. Yeah, well. Yeah, she uses oat flour. Oat flour and uh, Bat said that oat flour is not good, so I just use arrow. Well, I said oat flour use, has a lot of carbs. Use arrow. Anyways, so there. is that you're gonna check on that if it's melted? Yeah. All right. All right. Now the dry ingredients and eggs all mixed, and now we check on this. And what we do, we add about three quarter cups of cheese. You can use any any cheese you want, as long as right. it doesn't have sugar. Like I like Mozzarella. provolone, I like provolone, and I like Swiss cheese because it has no carbs and no sugar at all. See, as you see, cheese melts faster in here, so that's why I put the cream cheese first with the butter. So. Dang, these biscuits are delicious, and man. And then this cheese melts just right. I fast every day, intermittent fasting. So I don't, when I eat dinner at 6 o'clock at night, I don't eat until 12 o'clock the next day. And it's really, really hard to do that because my wife's always cooking this stuff in the morning. And uh, the kids had this for breakfast biscuits and gravy and scrambled eggs and I was just dying over there watching everybody eat 
Mm. Now she's making it for me for lunch. Lunch. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah. Did I tell it you I was only starving? takes about 15 minutes to cook it. But, yeah, since we don't have microwave, <laughs> so <laughs> it takes longer to make this biscuit. This is old to fashioned way. Prepare the ingredients. We gotta go back to the nice, old ways. Nice well. You ever see you ever see the elderly people how old they are? Because about, they didn't eat the processed foods or cooked with microwaves. They cooked on the stove. They, they you know what? You're lucky and don't make you make a fire and then you cook with a crock pot like a friggin' cast iron over a fire I'm, pit. Well I'm gonna move out of the day you do that. <laughs> So this one is all mixed, and then this is also. You really gonna move out? Mix. You taking the dog with you? Yeah. You. Jerry, Mama's gonna take you. Who's gonna take her to the park? On my deal. No, he's, he's a, he doesn't like it. Nope. He doesn't like that idea. I'm sure there will be another dog walker out there. <laughs> Yeah, because that's also it's just stick to the recipe. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. We see he always distract me with all this. How did I distract you? I was talking to Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just put the butter first. Okay, and then put the cheese. Mm. Mix it, mix it. Jerry, you want to have to eat the bowl, Jerry? Oh, Jerry, Jerry loves, loves these loves biscuits. biscuit. Oh my goodness, he loves these biscuits. Right? This will make about seven to eight biscuits. I think Jerry is the first YouTube keto dog. <laughs> so everything we eat is keto and then he eats it too. He just loves bread, babe. That's all. He just loves bread. Okay, let me mix it and then we'll be right back. All right, this uh, mixture all well combined, all the cheese and the flour. And okay, um, the reason why I like this uh, recipe because it doesn't taste like um, what do you call that? Almond flour. Almond flour. It tastes just like biscuit. It believe does taste me. like a biscuit. I mean, believe me. Doesn't taste diet or keto, and um, even the gravy, the gravy, you know, is awesome. So what you do, you just make it like a, you know, a biscuit like. It will rise a little bit, okay. So you just separate it from each other. I mean, some people make it like the exact when, uh, size. When you first gave this to me for the very first time, mm -hmm. I thought you was giving me regular biscuits, and I was like, what are you doing, man? I can't be having these kind of carbs. Right. And you're like, no, this is the new keto recipe. Right. And I was, when I, when I bit into it, it was like, man, you can't even tell this was, and she's like, can you taste the cheese? I'm like, what cheese? Yeah, you can't taste the cheese, you can't taste the almond, you and it's not eggy at all. Yeah, it's it doesn't. One it's only got one egg. You know, and that's right. The, so these measurements, you make about six biscuits with these. No, about seven and eight. S seven and eight. <laughs> seven or eight. <laughs> Either seven or eight, not seven and eight. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. See, we're a little bit more professional this time. Wait, what are you talking about? Right. No, you're talking about getting a new dog walker. Oh no, I didn't. Mm-hmm. What was your idea? Oh, was it? Yes, you. It was yours, right? Everybody? Yeah. It was no, this idea, no, right? No, gonna leave. I'm turn the comments off. That I'm going to move out when he doesn't... What did he say? No, don't what worry happened? about it. I edited it out. No, you didn't. You never edited out my cooking channel, but you edited out the other <laughs> stuff. Like when you're walking, you fell down, and all that stuff. It's then, not about walk. This is a cooking channel. What are you talking about? I, I know. Stuff. Like when you do is your... That a, is that a baby biscuit for Jerry you're making? <laughs> yeah. Is that going to be for Jerry? 
Yeah, this is when you're really on a diet. <laughs> See, it makes seven. I don't know. This is for Jerry, I guess. Yeah, he loves them, man. Yeah, this is for my baby. All right, there we go. that's it. Boom, very easy peasy, lemon it's squeezy. It's so easy to make, believe me. It's fast, don't need very... Can we, next time you use a fresh sheet? I told you I like to recycle. The channel's not going to call us. They never call us anyways, and they don't intend to, the way we... Son, what do you think about these biscuits? My son just came into the kitchen. They're good. Biscuits and gravy are awesome, right? Yeah. Right, son? Sure. Alright, right, we're going to put these in the oven and these are going to bake for how long? 15 minutes. 15 minutes, alright. We'll be back when it's done. We'll be right back when it's done. Okay, while the biscuits are uh, baking, she's going to make a little bit more gravy. Maybe thicken it up thicken it up a little bit. And you're using uh, the arrow, arrow, arrow root in the water, right? Yeah. They start getting thicker. You, you don't like a runny one. No, I like my gravy thick. I think people use like uh, jantan gum or something. Is it jantan gum or guar gum? Yeah, jantan gum to make it thicker. Mm. But I use other See? Okay. Yep. Looks okay. just like it. It's hard to smell because she's cooking dinner over here. Right next to it also. Yeah, I know. This is uh, pork. Indonesian mm -hmm. spicy pork. Mm. Man, that smells incredible that way. That has nothing okay. to do with the... Maybe I'll put some of that on my biscuits too. I thought that's what you want to do. Alright, sounds like fine. We'll do it. Okay. Be right back. Are they done? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm starting. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Why are you asked then? Because I, I don't know. Can't tell. Okay. It's all 15 minutes up. Time to eat. Alright, I am ready to eat. We get these cut up and set on a plate. Yep. For my lunch. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let's huh? cut it. See? It's done. Let me see. I don't want it to burn. Cut it in half. That's like biscuit. Ooh, oh, look at that. Goodness. Oh, my mm. goodness. Tastes good. Mm. How many do you want? All of them. No, you don't. I'm starving. All right, give you two. Two? Ah, I need more than that. I'm not oh. a baby. All right, three. That's it. Save it for dinner. <sighs> you can add more. The plate won't fit. That's a huge plate. All right, see? All right. See, it's full. Let's See, put the, that's the pork in there. Yeah, let's put the uh, gravy and gravy over, mm. and then put some of that Indonesian spicy pork. Yeah. Why? Where am I supposed to put the Just pork? Put right there. Awesome. Well, I'm the surfer, and then you you eat it. Yeah, I had a subscriber, uh, just Mike, he was complaining that you're supposed to smother the biscuits with gravy. Is it? Yeah, that's, what he, that's what he smother, told me. Smothered it? No, he's got that OCD. Alright, smother it so he will be happy. He won't unsubscribe. Yeah, you guys had it this morning. Just give me all of that gravy. There we go. Alright. That's good. Save it for Jerry. And now get some uh, Indonesian spicy pork and put that on the side. That's going to be my lunch for today. Yep. So remember, always look down in the description box below uh, for the ingredients on how to make this uh, best keto tasting recipe ever. And the Indonesian spicy pork, that's a bonus for me. Right? Mm, yep. And tune in next time when, uh, what do you think next time we'll be making some? I don't know. We'll see. I always come up with something. Oh, the bread. The one that doesn't taste eggy and stuff. Learning it. Learning it. Okay. That's it. So, thanks for taking time to watch the videos. Like always, remember to hit that like, comment. It's for me. Oh, subscribe doesn't cost oh. you anything. It's for me. Okay. Right? Right. And uh, tune in to next time, Cooking with Mama Lee. Get down, down. Kitchen's closed. It's so beautiful. That's my... Oh, beautiful. And you are so beautiful.